Hello to all. I'm going to be unboxing this right here. This is the Microfight chassis from Spiritus Systems. It can be used as a placard right here or as a standalone as a chest rig. This is their Mark V version, one of their newer versions of it. I'm going to unbox it, give you my first impressions of it, as well as show you how I mounted it on this Rampage 2.0 plate carrier right here from Showback Tactical. This was one of their active shooter kits that came with the chest rig, the plate carrier here, as well as two level four plates. But I hope you guys enjoy the video, stay tuned. So here we go, they sent it via USPS. I think it took about two days for them to ship it out from me ordering it. And here is the receipt. It doesn't have the total price on there, but I believe everything I got here the insert and the placard ends up coming out $85 shipped or so. Comes with a nice quality sticker. And here is the micro fight. This is the Mark IV. And it comes with two sets of, I'm not sure what they call, but I believe Swift Clips that you will be able to put on your plate carrier or also if you were going to use this as like a little chest rig standalone by itself you could also put these around the side in combination to enter what kind of magazines you want in here it comes with a insert and you can use this for AR-10, SR-25 style magazines, sub gun like your MPX, GHM, Scorpion, stuff like that. But I got AR-15. So right out of the bag, first thing I noticed that this is very, very light. I'm going to do a color match check. It doesn't look mm, not too bad at all. So it does match up pretty well. This is CB, your Coyote Brown, stuff like that. So you know, different manufacturers and everything. They could be a little bit different. So we'll start from the back, work our way around to the front and everything. Again, this can be as a standalone product right here, just as a chest rig. So on the back, they have this little, this little plate right here. So you don't have abrasive hooks and loops pressing on your chest or your skin or whatever if you're just gonna use this as a standalone. But if you're not, this is gonna be able to attach to your plate carrier. So it hooks up even better. On the side, you have your little loops where you can stick your clips. So you have your shoulder and abdomen straps going around using it as a simple chest rig. Few drainage holes at the bottom. And on the side, it looks like the side is also Molly compatible. So you're able to loop and attach whatever you want on the sides. On the website, they do have like pistol magazines on the side, which look really cool. Here you have a pouch where you can put a number of different things. This is where your inserts are going to go. I'll take that out in a second, put it in. But this is really up to you, to the end user. This is about $45 by itself, so a lot cheaper. But again, you do have to buy the inserts. And then once it comes to about 85, that is on par with most things out there in the market. On the other side, same thing, ball compatible it looks like. So you can stick something else on the side. I'll go in and take out the insert here. You have your hooks and loops Velcro on the front and the back. And I'm not sure which way the orientation is. I'm gonna assume this is the top where your magazines go in and follow the orientation of that and it will slip into your carrier right here. So there we go. So now I have my inserts in and let me grab some magazines. That was about to be bad. All right, so let's see. I'll be oriented like this. I'm trying to do this 
goes, I think, yeah. I put the magazines in like this. And there we go. That looks very neat, very simple, and it is stylish. All right, so here's the Banshee. And then I'm just going to replace this front placard with the Spiritus system. And one thing I already don't know is what's the compatibility with these snaps. Let's see. So they do not work on this. So give me a second. I'm going to see if I can somehow replace these with the ones that came with the placard. So I had to end up doing something a little bit different. I don't know if you guys can see, but the clips, that's the back of the clip right there. I'm not sure how it's mounted. I wasn't able to figure out how to remove that. That all being said, I actually like how secure these are right here. So I decided to keep these. So in order to mount this, I decided to one, take off the clips from the shell back placard that came with it. Two, the clips that were on the Spiritus system, I kind of just took a Dremel, cut it off so I could leave the loops attached. And then I made my own kind of bootleg kind of clip like they did with this cross cut right here with the Dremel. And I'm gonna see if this works on this. So I have this really nice mounting system right here that's really solid on this carrier. And I still have the hooks and loops, the Velcro to stick around the cummerbund and bottom of the plate carrier. So as you guys can see here, it hooks up similar to how the, you know, better factory molded ones would work. But now, I can easily just clip them into what I already had on my plate carrier. And we have a solid, nice hookup. So here I have the plate carrier on. I'm going to move this back since I'm not going to use it as a standalone. The hooks and loops on this will be able to interface on my plate carrier. Got them on the swift clips. Lay it down, and there you go, the micro fight. Take your magazines. Make sure they're oriented the right way. And there you go. They got good retention in there, and it's not too tight where you're not going to have the issue when you try to actually pull a magazine out. So with this, nice and easy. You don't have to worry about it flopping around, anything like that. The right way you need them to be. That one's backwards. Right where they need to be when you need it. So what really drew me to this product was the simplicity of it all. On the promotional video of this, what they said with the previous generations was that people would overuse them or underuse them. And I would definitely be somebody who would underuse something like the Mark III, Mark IV. I know a lot of people, they go all out with their chest rigs, comms, hydration, medical up here, mags, everything around the side on a cummerbund. That's just not me. I run my plate carriers very, very simple. Usually just mags, stuff like that. So when I saw this, um, it really, really stuck out to me. Very simple, looks nice. And also it gives me that option if I do want to build around it. So you again, you have Molly on the side. So I was thinking maybe some pistol mag Kiwis, something like that. Molly on the front, I can add a admin pouch, Kim lights, stuff like that on the front. And even can mount stuff around the bottom if I so cho choose to as well. And as you guys can see here, I have different kind of mags I'm putting in. That's a Lancer mag. This is one of those. I'm sorry if you guys hear that. It's snow and hailing in March in the South. It's just kind of loud for me. 
This is one of those that came with like a drawer, the IWI CAA Lancer. So no issues with other kind of mags, stuff like that. And I like how it is kind of, it's not rigid, but semi-rigid. And I'm able to like tuck my knife in over there as well if I so choose to. And I was messing around with it with some other mags. This is an AR-15 insert. And they absolutely do make other inserts for other kind of mags. Specifically, you know, subgun mags, PDW mags, stuff like that. But they're not horrible if you don't want to spend another, I think, 30 or so, 30 or so dollars on it. But you could get it to work, possibly. AK mags don't work on it. The draw angle is really weird. But so far, I am very happy with this. I will show you guys some range video once I get it out. I'll let you guys know how it holds up. I'm not expecting any kind of issues, nothing like that. But I am excited for this product. Looks nice, feels great. Hope no issues come up. So, but I appreciate you guys watching. Take care.